Hey, Lee Robinson here from American Sentinel K9. Thank you for tuning in. This is Parker's Frankie Bomp. Uh, Frankie Bomp is a three-quarter Sorrel's bred dog. And we are very happy with Frankie Bomp. In my opinion, he's probably the best American Pitbull Terrier I've ever owned. He's a, a proven performer, and he's, like I said, three-quarter Sorrel's blood. And I just could not ask for more from a dog than what I get from him. We have bred him to a number of females, and while He's not a foundation, I guess you could say, for our entire program. He certainly is playing a foundational role as to where we are at this particular time in our, in our breeding. I've been studying these dogs since 1990, and I began breeding the dogs in the year 2000. And in 2002, I was fortunate enough to meet Madison Parker, coincidentally, at an informal event that had nothing to do with dogs. And we met each other because we were both into the wilderness aspect of, of life. Uh, I shot a traditional bow and arrow. I went to archery events and uh, he made traditional archery equipment. I sold traditional archery equipment. And he saw me with a couple of dogs and we just started talking about the, uh, the Pitbull Terrier. And even though I was vaguely familiar with the Sorrels line at that time, by meeting him, he connected me with Bert Sorrels. Since Madison Parker wasn't breeding dogs for sale at that time, he had no reason to upsell the, uh, the line, the Sorrels line, which I became a huge fan of after I learned more about it. I was already attracted to those dogs based off of books and reports that I had read for a decade. But um, when I met Madison Parker, I began to learn more about it. And so I went to Bert Sorrels and ended up getting a dog named Captain Skip which became a foundation dog for our band dog program back in, uh, in the early 2000s. But anyway, moving forward, as I got to know more about Bert Sorrels and I studied that line, I learned a, quite a bit about the roots and why he has had so much success with them. And the Sorrels line, what's different than them than some of the others is, in my opinion, the Sorrels line is the best well-rounded American Pitbull Terrier that's bred. They've excelled in many many venues of course they've excelled in the traditional game dog venue but then they've also excelled as hog hunters this dog has a lot of hunt drive uh the desire they call it prey drive and, and protection work but really it's predatory instinct he has a lot of that he's got good finish in him and then uh, they've also done protection work with a lot of the sorrels dogs as well in fact one of the first uh, title pit bulls was a sorrels bred dog but anyway, what is their base? Well, Bert Sorrels founded his yard off of Sorrels Bull and also a dog named STP, also Red Jerry and Red Jack. And we're gonna talk about those bloodlines in a little bit and then we're gonna get also into the boomerang blood which, made, which plays a much larger role than a lot of people know. And I'll explain that influence as well. So Sorrels Bull. Sorrels Bull is very closely related to Indian Sonny's Bolio. And why they call Indian Sonny's Bolio, Indian Sonny's Bolio is kind of uh, comical in my opinion because he was, Bolio was produced by Carver, but he was owned by Pat Patrick. And, um, but anyway, Bolio and Sorrel's Bull are very similarly bred. But Bull was a bull frame of a dog. He was just a stout animal. And Sorrel, Bert Sorrel used him as a foundation dog based on how tightly bred he was, because Sorrel's Bull was out of a father-daughter breeding. Uh, Sorrel's Bull's mother was actually a litter mate to, to Bolio, and then uh, bred that litter mate back to the father, uh, Zeke. Now, the uh, Zeke, so that, wh what is his roots? I meant to say that. So Sorrel's Bull goes back to a combination of Tudor, Carver, Cross. There's a little bit of Corvino blood coming into Bull, but he's basically a Tudor Carver cross. In my opinion, Carver's Black Widow is probably the one of the best bitches to ever live. I mean, if I could choose a, a female that I could own right now from ants from their history, Carver's Black Widow would, would be would be the one that I choose chose. She has produced many, many, many excellent bloodlines are founded from that root. So anyway, the Tudor Carver cross is what Sorrel's Bull is. Now the Red Jerry Red Jack combination, that is Corvino blood. And there's some Corvino blood coming in through uh, Goober. And there's also some Corvino blood coming in through Johnny Walker Red. Next, 
we have uh, STP. So what is STP? STP is a controversial dog with an unknown pedigree. This is the only dog really that I know of that Bert Sorrell's ever used that had an unknown pedigree. He hung some pedigrees on some dogs, including STP. But the difference between the other dogs that Bert Sorrell's hung pedigrees on and STP is STP is an unknown. He, the STP dog was purchased out of a, uh, they accidentally came across him. They bought him from some people that they never disclosed the pedigree. Now, Madison Parker has some opinions on how that dog is bred, and that has caused some controversy with some people in the Sorrels family, I guess you could say, because they're like, well, Madison doesn't know that. That's just speculation. You know what? You're right. Uh, Madison doesn't know that, but the cool thing about Madison is he'll tell you he doesn't know that, so I don't know why it causes controversy. Madison will tell you, based off of the traits of SGP, I believe that he was based off of Ed Crenshaw's blood. He was a brindle dog, he was in the area, and the dog performed exceptionally, exceptionally well. And to coincidentally find a dog that shows three different traits that were seen in the Ed Crenshaw line, Madison Parker seems, um, Madison Parker seems to believe that that's unlikely. So he thinks it's the Ed Crenshaw dog. Now, why did the STP play a, such a huge role? Well, if you study the pedigrees, that Bert Sorrell put together, you'll see a bitch named Bandit and you'll see a, a, a stud named Joe Testament. Those dogs were put together in a lot of the Sorrell's dogs and both of those dogs are out of STP. Bandit was sired by STP and Joe Testament was sired by STP. Now, another dog that you're gonna see and not see in the uh, Sorrell's blood that played a huge role is Boomerang. And the reason why I say see and not see, um, there's a dog named Bubba Bo. Bubba Bo has a hung pedigree on him. It is, well, it is very well established and well accepted that Bubba Bo was actually out of Davis's scratch over Davis's grasshopper. And those two dogs, Davis's gra scratch and Davis's grasshopper, goes back to Davis's boomerang, which one of the best dogs to ever look through a collar. He was said to be unbeatable as a game dog goes. He was grand champion. He produced many excellent dogs. That's the sire to Bubba, Bubba Bo, Scratch and Grasshoppers. The, the, that's the breeding that put Bubba Bo together. And Bubba Bo is the sire of Raisin. So anytime you see Raisin, you're talking about Boomerang blood. Now, that's where you don't see it, okay? It's in there, but you just don't see it in the pedigree because Bert Sorrell hung a pedigree on Bubba Bo. He didn't want to give Davis's, Davis credit on that. Now, the places that you do see Boomerang is you can see dogs like Miss Boomerang. Obviously, that's a Boomerang bred dog named Miss Boomerang. You can see it in the pet. But there's other places that if you know, if you learn to read the pedigree correctly, you'll see Boomerang comes also into through a bitch named Miss Demeanor, who goes back to Felony, who's a Boomerang bred dog. You'll see Boomerang coming in through uh, muzzle a little bit on his top side. Um, you'll see Boomerang coming in through a number of different places. Um, and so I'm a huge Boomerang fan, and I am pleased to know that one of the foundation dogs that we have in our program, if you look at the pedigrees, is going to be Pokey. Pokey is in a lot of the Sorrel's blood that we use, and he is heavily bred on Bubba Bo. And Bubba Bo uh, bred back to what? Well, he's Bubba Bo bred back to... Bandit, which is the best bitch that Burt Sorrell has ever owned, according to Burt Sorrells. I asked back in 2003. See, I met Madison Parker in 2002. He tipped me on to the Burt Sorrells blood, and then I went and met Burt Sorrells, and I asked him, what's the best bitch you ever owned? And he said the hard eyes bandit combination never produced a cur, and he, had to, he actually told me that bandit never produced a cur, but some people have... Uh, come to the conclusion that he's talking specifically about the hard eyes bandit i don't know um, but he told me bandit was the best bitch he ever had she produced never produced a cur and uh regardless of that when you look at pokey what do you see you see bubba bow which is boomerang and you see bandit and then you also see maybelline so we've got boomerang from bubba bow we got boomerang from miss boomer we got boomerang from misdemeanor we got boomerang from felony we've got boomerang from maybelline 
a lot of different sources of the boomerang blood coming in and all that is really coming in through pokey quite a bit even though i talked about these blood why do i like it well the sorrels blood has been one of the top performers in performance venues as far as the game dog goes they've produced a number of records some of the longest events that have ever been recorded were sorrels dogs some of the most accomplished dogs to ever exist were sorrels dogs the only dog that i ever know that i've ever seen that beat three grand champions and a champion was a pure sorrels bred dog there's no other dog that's done it they've done really well in weight pull work they've done work well in hog catch work and they've done well in protection work so and here's the watch this the cool thing about sorrels blood is they're extremely affectionate unlike the mayday blood which tends to be really good workers the mayday blood doesn't have the personality that these dogs have hey frankie what you doing buddy hey buddy what you doing oh yeah he's a sweetheart he'll sit on the couch with you in a minute and uh, he's a great house dog as well i am very happy with frankie bump frankie bump's top size is a dog named big daddy a large dog this dog's got a nice frame to him you can see he's a well well put together dog he is the foundation of what we're breeding today we have bred him to a number of females and we've also had semen collected from him so we can use him in the future because finding a dog like this now is really difficult. This is a proven worker and a proven producer.